Colorado Senator and presidential candidate Michael Bennett spoke to cannabis investors at the ArcView event in New York on October 3rd. The recently passed banking bill needs to pass the Senate next, so investors were anxious to hear what he had to say. I think that the, what you should do is get practice succeeding. And that's something that we're not doing well as a country with our democracy. And this banking bill, I think, is the perfect opportunity for you guys to organize an effort to see whether you can get it through the Senate. You shouldn't expect that you will get it through, but you should try, and it might actually happen. And once you've got that through, then you can build on it. I, I think one of the things that we are victims of in our own country, in part because of how dominant social media and other things have become, is that we tend not to be as strategic as the people that are trying to keep things the same. The people that are trying to keep things the same are very strategic about keeping keeping the stuff the same. I mean, and Mitch McConnell really has mastered the art of creating a constituency to keep stuff the way that it is. Not on this topic, but on many other issues, ranging from guns to climate change. But here, you have an amazing opportunity to take the momentum. That was a surprising vote. It was a surprising number of people who supported it in the House. And so I would use this as an opportunity to learn how to, how to succeed in the Senate as well and then figure out what's next on the agenda. And I have seen just a, a revolution happen in terms of the attitude of people uh, on Capitol Hill. You asked me three or four years ago what, whether that banking bill would pass. I mean, Ed Perlmutter, who I've you know, known for 20 years, who's a congressman from Colorado, has been carrying that bill. I mean, if you had asked us three years ago, was that bill going to pass? We would have said, there's no way. And now it passed with more than 300 votes. And I still can't frankly believe that. You know what? <laughs> nothing passes with 300 votes. <laughs> Literally nothing. And almost nothing passes with basic unanimity on the Democratic side and almost half the Republicans on the, I mean, you should be proud of that. You really should. And I think to, you should stay after both at the state level and at the federal level because it's moving in your direction.